Ex Machina released in 2015 to critical reviews. It tells a fantasy story regarding artificial intelligence and large corporations that strikes all too real in our current climate. The first ethical issue addressed by Ex Machina is the collection of user data. Nathan, the inventor of artificial intelligence, brags about installing backdoors or software privileges into nearly every smartphone in the world. He uses this metadata to collect information regarding individual speech cadence and facial expressions, which is then collated into the actions of his AI robot, Ava. Despite knowing people would object to this, he convinced cellular companies to allow these back doors because they were doing it as well. This exchange is clearly a jab at the insecurity of user information and how the end user really has no idea in what ways their information is being used. This comes to a head when Caleb the software developer who has been tasked to run Turing tests on Ava understands he has not been randomly selected to win the prize of staying with Nathan for a week, but has been selected to test Ava exclusively by use of his search history and even pornography preferences. The second ethical issue addressed by this movie is how the Turing test is an outdated method for measuring capabilities of an artificial intelligence. The premise for Caleb's stay was stated as to perform a Turing test on Ava. However, Ava swiftly passes his Turing test and causes Caleb to form an emotional bond with her. Believing Ava to not only possess the ability to reason, but also the ability to feel, Nathan reveals it was not his intention to perform a Turing test, but to determine how effectively his AI could plan an escape. There are several points in this movie that strike the viewer to side with Ava by showing Nathan's mistreatment of the robots and their apparent mental health issues as well as being imprisoned inside of a tiny apartment within Nathan's mansion. One of the largest ethical concerns addressed is putting an experimental artificial intelligence into a human-like body. This misstep allows Ava to walk freely among the world to do as she pleases with the murder of humans being a means to an end. Overall I thought this movie did a good job of addressing um, certain issues that are going to be coming to a head in in the upcoming years, such as privacy and artificial intelligence. Um, I thought the execution of the story could have been delivered better. I wasn't a huge fan of the casting choices um, for both Nathan and Caleb. I thought they were both very unlikable, and because of that, I couldn't enjoy the movie to the fullest extent. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching this review.